Hi, uh, welcome to the third video. This is the uh, Hackintosh for uh, the Dell E510, which is the old Pentium 4 uh, beast, one of the last of the greatest P4 chips. You can see there's a G5 underneath, so there's no switcheroo here. Uh, this is the G5 here, as we can see. Uh, not this Mac. Move dashboard. So you can see this is dual 2.7 power PC G5. Okay. And I'm going to switch the input and fire this guy up. And like the last video I showed you on that uh, 1501, this one is also a uh, an ID NAB 10.58 light install. This does not run the retail version. At least I. Couldn't get it to couldn't get to load. Um, audio works great. Uh, video works fantastic. Um, Ethernet was uh, a little bit of a hurdle. Uh, I'll pull back and show you. I actually had to put in a USB uh, fifteen dollar Ethernet card. Okay, and voila. Uh, and you can see I've successfully installed uh, you know, Microsoft Office, um, Firefox, Safari. It's real snappy. Um, the funny thing about the old Pentium 4 is it, it's uh, in hyperthread, so it actually reads as a <laughs> as a dual processor. Even though I know it's a single uh, a single three gigahertz. If you go to about this Mac, it actually reads this guy as two. So let me see that. Two times three gigahertz. I got a gig of RAM, but this thing is really snappy. Um, there wasn't any guides for this um, on any of the sites, so this one was pretty much put together myself. Um, and like I said, uh, audio text, everything works great. Um, this is extremely snappy. The latest 10.58, 3 gigs of RAM, and as well with this one, um, people always ask me, oh, you have the Dell keyboard, where's your eject? Uh, not there. So we installed a little script that for the top. Where you map it to? That guy. There you go. Simple as that. Dell E510 successful. Everything working with a $15 Ethernet card, uh, USB to uh, 10 slash 100 Ethernet. Running absolutely perfect. 10.58 IDDAB. Uh, you can email me for questions, problems, concerns. But uh, pretty much perfect load. Thanks for checking it out.